Hey, hello, friends. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts with Rito. It's me, your boy Rito. So, how often, growing up in the Bible Belt with really the belt buckle, does the Christian faith get boiled down to rules? I think so often we're known for uh, what we're against uh, than what we do and who we really are and what we're for. It's it's so easy to boil it down. Well, okay, I didn't I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't use profanity, and I I didn't commit fornication, and so I'm doing okay, right? It's like we're following those basic rules, and we think that we're doing okay as Christians, and I just don't think that's true, and I don't think that's been true since the very beginning of God bringing His people and really making one people group His own. See right after the Israelites get brought out of Egypt and they're they're in Sinai and they're they're being given the law it's right there in Exodus 31:13 as God is talking to them about the Sabbath and how really God is giving them a gift of the Sabbath that was revolutionary these these folks had been slaves for 400 years and they didn't know what a day off was and here all of a sudden this new very personal God who was going to live among them was telling them to take a day to rest because he'd taken a day to rest. And he says this in Exodus 31, 13 at the end, that uh, he had given them the Sabbath to show that he, the Lord, is the one who makes them holy. It wasn't keeping the rules of the covenant that made them holy, that made them righteous. It was God who made them holy, and he'd given them the covenant to live in with him him in his holiness. And so uh, the the faithful Jews down through the centuries always believed that it was God that had made them holy, that the covenant made them holy, and therefore they acted differently than the world around them. It wasn't so much a let me act different and then I'm holy, then I'm good. And I think that that same temptation uh, still hits us today, that if we can just follow some of those basic rules of Christianity, then we're doing okay. But we follow the rules as a response to the gift that's been given to us, the righteousness of Jesus, that that same God who still lives among us, who is still personal with us, he's the one who has made us holy. We just try to live in response and gratitude to that. So my friends, don't put the cart before the horse. The horse has to pull the cart. Friends, this day, walk in the light of Jesus, the one who makes you holy, and be the light to the world around you.